Hey folks, this is just a short little video on a few things I updated on my robot. So the first one is that I got myself a nice little joystick and this works a lot better than the game pit I had before. And the second one is that I can now adjust the mowing height with the web interface so now it's uh, on full height and now I will drive it down to zero and up again works really nice and the third one is that I improve the bumper mounting so this works like so so these are just screws and massively big holes so they can move freely around and a bunch of springs bringing the bumper back to the center and these springs here just lift the bumper up a bit so the friction of these screws is lower and it, get, it gets back to the center more easily And the last thing I'm working on right now is sort of a battery pack and it's designed to keep two of these 5 amp hours turn G LiPo rechargeable batteries and so at the moment it normally drives with just one but I fear that in the future the power consumption will further increase so I'll build it for two and I am not I haven't done very much so far but it's designed to go something like on here so the robot gets a little bit longer which is a good thing actually because it gets quite heavy in, at the front and Sometimes it yeah, it's too less weight on the on the back wheels and it tips over a bit to the front, and therefore the screws get stuck in the grass. So that's not a bad thing, and I also need this space for more electronics because I have nothing yet to attach the bumpers or any uh, lights so LEDs or something and ultrasonic sensors whatever so I need another board and I'm also thinking of attaching a LCD and some buttons so I can configure it on the go for example uh, if the robot should uh, log in to an existing Wi-Fi network or open its own hotspot for the web interface so that's why I need more space back there. So thanks for watching and give it a skull if you like it.